fire up the heat press. All right, welcome back to the channel. This is my second episode of creating my brand or relaunching my brand, which is Audible Apparel. And I know I said I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna try to document everything and try to make this a once a week thing, but if I can do more, I'll do more, just depending on how much time I got. So y'all bear with me. Um, but with that being said, I would like to get into today's video. There's a couple things I wanna talk about in this video and number one is I man I got some samples from FN, FM expressions excuse me FM expressions and I got to heat press a couple of them today I didn't think to record it because it was in the middle of me kind of moving things around in here so I'll um, just go through my experience <laughs> I got a three-year-old she's right outside the door her room's right next door, so y'all bear with me. But, so I didn't get a chance to record myself heat pressing um, some of the FM Expressions samples, but I do um, have the t-shirt and I'll go over the t-shirt a little bit. But uh, outside of that, I also wanna talk about this uh, video I watched, I think it was Thursday, and it was from The Casual. It was uh, this guy named Rich Casual, and he uh, had this, this concept of uh, he called it the 20 20 20 rule so you write down 20 words you ask 20 questions and you get 20 answers so I and this was all about building your brand or conceptualizing your brand and things like that so I did I did that exercise wrote down my 20 words and I answered my 20 questions and the um, the project kind of went like this so I'll hop in the video right here so you write down 20 words so you got 20 words and you got to ask 20 questions for each of those words but the question is simple you just got to ask why why did I choose that word and then you answer that question so you have 20 words 20 questions 20 answers so for me it really helped me kind of hone in on what I um, I guess what I was missing with my brand, it kind of gave it a little bit more, gave me more insight on what I wanted to do and why I chose what I chose when I created the brand initially. And I just was like, man, I didn't know it was that deep. So uh, with that being said, I'll just go into, yeah, my 20, well, my 20 words, my 20, you know, the 20 questions are gonna be the why to those words. And I'll go to my answer. So I got my notepad here and y'all gotta excuse my chicken scratch, but it's, um little bit hard to remember so my 20 words were fun football modern minimalistic nike adidas under armor fast strong bold black white gray college football nfl cfl trendy comfortable affordable favorite and purpose so a couple of those are slashes so um it, it may be more than 20 words but those are the words that uh, when I think about my brand, this is what I, those words come into mind. So when, you, when you're doing this exercise, you don't have to have descriptive words. It can be any type of word. Like I had colors, I had uh, verbs, I had actions, I had brands. So all this stuff are things that uh, kind of resonate with me and the brand that I want, I want to create and the brand I want to deliver to people. So... When I said fun, and the question naturally is why fun? Why do I want my brand to be fun? So the answer I came up with is I want a fun brand that people will want to wear. So simple, simple question, a simple answer. All right, then football is like, of course it's my favorite sport. That's all I really know. Then modern. So for me, I love modern, modern and simplistic designs and that goes for clothes, houses, <laughs> architecture any type of thing but yeah she's um trying to get in <laughs> i'll let her in, in a minute and my next word after that was modern hold on oh, i said modern but my next word, word after that was minimalistic and i'm a self-proclaimed minimalist so i don't like a lot of clutter a lot of junk i like real plain simple stuff uh even with food i, I eat simple i eat the same thing probably 85 percent of the time so i try to keep it simple chicken and rice maybe broccoli but um yeah moving on i go to nike 
that was one of my favorite brands growing up and Nike is kind of synonymous with football, speed, strength, you know, overcoming. Uh, it's all, it's kind of heroic in a sense. So that's what Nike kind of meant to me coming up. And with Adidas, I just love their aesthetic as well as the same thing that they kind of echo with Nike for as the speed aspect, uh, the brand, the, you know, being, uh, that's synonymous with sports in a sense as well. So Adidas stuck out to me. Under Armour, I just love their football story and how the founder actually started Under Armour. And that was a crazy story to me. And that's something how I'm kind of, I know I'll have to do the same thing with my brand. So that makes me want to go. That's why I added Under Armour to the list. Then I, I put fast. Because football is all about speed. Life is about speed. Business is about speed. Money is about speed. Everything is about speed. But... With my brand, I wanted it to be about speed because football, you know, of course, is synonymous with speed. You want to have the fastest 40. You want to burn somebody on the go route. You want to take a kick return back to the crib. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I put fast on my on my list as well. And strong is my next word. So strong football is also uh, goes hand to hand with strength and being strong and bullying people and knocking people out or delivering like hard blows so uh yeah being strong was another word and bold i wanted a bold brand that stood out so i want a bold brand that stands out so when somebody wears it they know that oh you have on audible or oh that i love that shirt i got one at home uh, you know something that stands out something that's different from what we always see and that's one of the deals i'm working on with uh audible and i'm gonna bring to the marketplace here in a little bit so y'all stick with me we are going through the process of this then my next word was black so black is one of my favorite colors as you can tell i <laughs> probably i got on all black right now so yeah black is one of my favorite colors so that one i wanted that to be a staple with my brand so my logos my website everything is gonna have black and white as the primary colors as the primary color so that goes into my next word which is white I just love the contrast that it gives against the black. So especially like when you designing something, when you're designing something and you have that white and black uh, contrast, it kind of just pops and it kind of looks real nice and clean and you know just it's smooth. I, I love it. So that uh, my next word is gray. So gray, you know, it's just athletic in nature. Like coming up um, in middle school and high school, you, you always had the gray shirt with uh, whatever color pants you, whatever color shorts you had to go through athletics. So uh, it might've been the Heather Gray, I think that's what it was, but it's always been like an athletic staple no matter where you are. Gray has always been somewhere in the mix. So with me developing a brand for athletes or a brand for, I'd say current and former athletes, a brand for people who love sports then that would make sense to have gray as one of those staples. Then uh, my next word was college football. College football was something that inspired me to want to go to the next level. As I was playing high school football, that was the next step. So once I was playing high school football, I wanted to play college football. So I play, play, did everything I had to do to get to the college realm. And then once I got to the college realm, the next step was NFL or professional football. So that goes into my next word, which is CFL, well, NFL slash CFL. So that inspired me as well to help me keep pushing. And that's another thing I wanted to bring into my brand. So, whew, that's a lot of words, a lot of talking. You don't think 20 is a lot till you just really going through it. Oh, man, 20 is a lot. It's like, you just, like, oh, it's just 20. Until you start doing like 20 push ups or something, then you, like, you realize how, how much 20 is. Like going through a list of 20 things, I didn't think it was going to be too bad. Should have practiced this. But anyway, uh, my next word after the professional football was trendy. I wanted people to wear it and um, Yeah, oh, yeah, I want people to wear it and like it So I wanted it to be something that athletes could be it could be almost like a community of uh, you, If you are familiar with how Jeep uh, Their community is you know when everyone who drives a Jeep to have this little wave that they do They don't know each other. They don't know they don't know people from Adam, but they know that they own a Jeep and they know that they're in the same club, so they got this little wave that they do when they're driving. So that's kind of what I want Audible to be when people see each other in and on, just walking through the street, walking through the halls, whatever whatever it is in the locker room. 
I want people to have that type of effect with Audible. Have, I want Audible to have the type of effect on people. So that's one of the goals. Then comfortable. So with my shirts, I want them to be comfortable. I want them to be something that people don't mind wearing multiple times, you know, a week or a month or whatever. I don't want it to have any tags that's scratchy and itchy. I don't want anything that's not going to be, you know, relevant. Anything that takes away comfort, I don't want it. And then I want it to be affordable. So with that, I've always admired Shaq because one of the deals he had cut when he got his first shoe deal was he didn't want to be on the top tier of everybody who's buying shoes. He didn't want to like mark his shoes up a hundred some dollars just to say that my shoes are a hundred some dollars. He wanted to make them affordable so more people can buy them. And at the end of the day, it came into it came down to him selling way more than anybody else who was, I guess, in his class at the sense, I mean, you know, outside of Jordan, you know, that's a, an anomaly. But yeah, he was able to sell more shoes because his price point was a lot lower, a lot, a lot more people could afford it. And even though it wasn't a cool thing to wear shacks and stuff like that at school, but um, it didn't matter. People, people need shoes, people need clothing. So why not make it affordable? Why not get my brand out there? So that was one of the things that stuck out to me when I heard Shaq's story on why he chose to go the Walmart, Kmart route with his with his merchandise and his uh, his gear. So affordable was that word. Then my then my next word was favorite. I wanted I wanted to make I want to design a shirt, a logo, and things that like resonate with people and something that people want to wear multiple times like i said earlier so i want some, i want this to be somebody's favorite shirt somebody's favorite hoodie somebody's favorite wristband whatever so i want people to always to have it on and then my last word was a uh, purpose so i wanted to build a brand that had purpose behind it not only is it an athletic brand or just i don't want it to be, just be like another nike or something like that but i wanted a brand to have purpose behind it a brand that let people know that they are in control that they don't have to stay in the same situations that they're in. You're not a tree. You can move. You can make it. You can make different moves. You can change the play. And that's why um, I came up with another tagline the other day, which was uh, "Make the uh, call to play, make the play. So with Audible, you know, you call a play, you make a play, or you change the play, then you, <laughs> you call the play. You don't like what you see, you call the Audible. Then you call the whatever the audible was, and then you make that play. I know it's a little confusing, but that's kind of what I came up with. It's a football thing. You, if you know, you know. But yeah, that's the 2020-20 um, exercise that I did to help me come up with a lot more stuff on my brand. And what I'll do is I'll probably do like a screen recording of my website here in a little bit, and I'll kind of loop it into this video. But with that being said, um, yeah. I just wanted to get that out of the way and share that with you. I'll link his original video in the description below as well. And yeah, let's get into these uh, heat press transfers from um, FM, FM Expressions. I keep messing it up. So when I when it came in the mail, it came in this little booklet called uh, Fire Up the Heat Press. I thought that was cool. So and guess what I did? I fired up the heat press. So I already kind of have an idea of what I want to do. So which... Um, Type of heat transfers I wanted to order so these are what a heat transfer looks like so this this right here this is their two color vintage formula and for me I know I'm not gonna use this I'm gonna use the athletic formula I kind of already printed it on a shirt I'll uh, pull that shirt up in a little bit but this is what a heat transfer looks like and with FM expressions they give you uh, directions on how to heat press it whether it's a hot or cold pill, what degrees it needs to be on, how long, how much pressure. So they really take all the thinking out of it for you. All you got to do is place it uh, face down on a on a shirt, press that bad boy, and let that thing ride. And on this one, it's a hot pill. So once you get it off the, um, once you lift up your heat press, you peel it immediately. You don't wait because if you wait, it's going to stick to the shirt. It's going to mess the shirt up. So, but yeah, they give you a bunch of different uh, options to try. I already had an idea of what I wanted, but this is also they uh, break down everything, all of their formulas, everything in the in their uh, little. I guess that you, this will be like a catalog. But yeah, I didn't really read it. I'm not gonna lie. Watch too many YouTube videos, seeing how everybody else was doing it. So, but 
this is one thing I do respect about FM Expressions because I have ordered heat transfers from other companies. And it, it's weird because the company I ordered from initially, everybody had great things to say about it. And they messed up my order twice. Uh, and they honored everything, so it's not a bad company. But when I finally got the right heat transfers, uh, well, they were always right, but they weren't. Like, the quality of the transfer wasn't there. So, but when I finally got them and I actually got to press them and see if I liked them or not, I wasn't that impressed. But I even ordered a sample pack, never got my sample pack, and it, it was weird. So, never mind that. And it just made me think about it. But um, but I got my sample pack from FM Expressions, and it came in pretty quick. I think I ordered it on like a Monday. It was here Thursday. It might have been Wednesday. And, and yeah, they got here fast. And uh, one thing they do is tell you on their one color designs, the one color uh, athletic formula designs, there is a one day turnaround. So you'll be they'll be out in the mail to you next day. So that was cool to me. And I was like, no, what? This might be the company I go with because. I have a cricket um cricket cutter or whatever vinyl cutter, but it's really my wife's it, um our well her older cousin gave it to us shout out to Shay appreciate that so we have that, but I didn't want to be out here cutting my designs, weeding it, and picking stuff out and all that stuff. I may do something like that when it comes to um when it comes to maybe doing like decals for the cars. I might do something like that, but um. For the most part for the business aspect of it for creating my brand it's not something i want to use it's just not i guess it wouldn't be as scalable as i needed it to be and it for and far as time goes you always want to consider your time when it comes to stuff like that opportunity cost is real so you got to consider it when you um coming into things like this and i know there's even different ways to do it but for me um i wanted to start this process off from the ground up print my own shirts, invest in my own business, and uh, go from there because I wanted to have a little bit more control on the front end so I could do a lot of testing, and that's what I what I came up with. So, that being said, I'm going to go pull up this shirt real quick and see uh, if you like it because I liked it. Designs came out great, and man, you, you guys ain't gonna, you're not going to be disappointed. All right, so we're on the floor, and I he pressed a few of their designs that they sent me in a sample pack this one right here it'll probably be the one i use most this is their one color athletic formula and this was like a fall thing that i didn't feel like putting the fall on it just didn't make sense because i'm not going to be using fall for anything but yeah so but i just wanted to print it see how i feel but this right here feels great feels like it's almost in the shirt it it, it stretches well and man it came off easy just like they said like they said seven seconds it was cool ready to go and then on the back is where they have the i put the um two color and full color designs that they sent and i messed one of them up i was i wasn't paying attention uh, i'll show you that one but this one right here uh yeah that's their uh two color uh athletic formula looks great I like it a lot. I'm definitely going to be using that one as well when it comes to uh, my business. So that came out great. And this one came out pretty good too. Excuse my cord there. This is their full color. And it stretches great. Look at the details in that thing, man. Crazy. But yeah, so it's definitely something that I'll be in implementing in my business. And it's, man stretches great i wish i could show you how it stretches but i'm gonna do a wash test later the wife is washing clothes right now so i can't really just throw it in there but um yeah that's um the fm expressions um heat transfer so it's kind of my mini review i like it but i'm gonna probably place an order and um print my own designs and give you a full start to finish type of review on that so I'll, I'll remember to actually record myself heat pressing it and to um, do a wash test, stretch test, and all that good stuff. But that's that's it for for my FM Expressions. I really uh, like it, like it a lot better than the other company for me. But hey, we'll see how it goes. All right, so that's gonna conclude today's video. Hope you found a little bit of value in it. Hope you. Um, 
learn something, excuse me, from that uh, exercise that I did. But also, thank you for uh, tuning in. If you don't mind helping your boy out, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Help me, um, yeah, help me help inspire somebody else, I guess, who's trying to eventually start a business. So this is me starting from ground up. Episode two, uh, relaunching Audible Apparel. So yeah, it's been a great one. I'll see you on the next one.